stage a good friend of mine, Mr. Mark Rose Trenworth. Thank you, Jason. You are both gracious and lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> now, uh, Rob and Scott, uh, like all cabbage thinkers, have failed to recognise the depth of the rose. In fact, uh, Rob, who is a Hitler-loving racist... <laughs> ...has actually created a race for me. I'm not even Albanian. I'm fabricated. Now, you know what? I'd like to ask uh, you guys a question, right? This is a, this is a hypothetical. Now, say, uh, say you're a... Uh, Sorry, it's on. Now say you're on a desert island, right? You are uh, you're on a desert island, you've shipwrecked with nothing on it, except you. And you're naked. Yeah. It's, uh, it's irrelevant. Now you have cabbage seeds and you have rose seeds. Now to ensure your survival, uh, Jean-Pierre, what, what would you plant? Or in all honesty. Well, it would have to be cabbage. A cabbage? Yeah. Now, actually, first of all, do you mind being naked on the island? Okay. Yeah? Okay, well, your genitals are actually the shape of a coward. Um, is that fine? <laughs> Don't worry, no one can see. <laughs> no, no cabbage. Okay, fair enough. No cabbage. That's fair enough. Because, you know, you've just ensured your survival on this island, harvest after harvest, year after year after year after year, which is great if you're happy to settle for the island. You see, I would plant a rose. Yeah, I know, crazy. Yeah, I know, I'm wacko. Hey! I'm Luke the Loop. Because the thing is, unlike the cabbage, which nourishes, which nourishes but stays low to the ground, the rose, like my dreams, goes far, high into the sky. It grows and soars and blossoms its wonderful colours to be seen by yonder aircraft. <laughs> yes. Which will come rescue me and take me away to a better tomorrow. Here, here. Yes, here, here. Here, here. Thank you for your support. <laughs> but you know what? I'm sure you guys will have a great life eating your cabbage on your, on your desert island. And then, and then eating cabbage the next day, and 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 eating cabbage the next day. Let me know if it's getting boring. Eating cabbage the next day, eating cabbage the next day, eating cabbage the next day, eating cabbage the next day. I do my day quite well, don't I? Eating cabbage the next day. I hope there's a fucking gun on this island. So my point is that, well, yes, you need the cabbage to live. But far more than that, you need something to live for. We need to plant a ro we need to plant rose seeds to ensure inspiration, humanity, and progress. These guys, they endorse a logic that is primitive, backward, insular. They can't see further than their own backyards. It's like they learnt their seed planting technique from Fritzl. <laughs> 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 There's quite a lot of similarities. <laughs> to, me, to me, you plant a cabbage out of fear of not having enough. I plant a rose because I'm confident I'll succeed and do great things. Like, for example, and I'll just kind of, I'll just show you something. Like, today, I drew a, a picture of a monkey, right? And it's a really awesome picture of a monkey that I drew. And the thing is, I got fired from my job because um, I didn't go to work because I really wanted to draw this picture of a monkey. <laughs> and you know, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to uh, eat this week and uh, I'm not sure how, um, you know, because I've got no job. But, you know, if I had gone to work, I wouldn't have the opportunity to, uh, to draw this monkey. Oh, oh. 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 Is it? That was it. Go, go back. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I really, I really wanted to do it. So, thanks. Yeah. Yes? Who drew that? 
That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I answer it. That is bloody amazing. Oh my god. Oh, now I was just wandering up to the rhino room to see some art and look at this. <laughs> bloody amazing. Thank you. Look, I've just been paid this week, so um how's two million dollars? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks, mister. Uh, bravo. 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 <laughs> See, a commitment to ideas and inspiration bears greater fruits and helps humans to progress in greater ways than the conforming narrow-mindedness of the cabbage. It also brings people together as a symbol of love, unity and gratitude. See, uh, just watch this. Watch what happened when I uh, went down the street today and deposited rose petals at people's feet. Watch what happened. <laughs> Please, walk on these. They're responses of joy and happiness. Not so when you deposit cabbage leaves. You get the sound very loud. <laughs> to someone who I think is, is special. And see, I'd like to give the drawing to the, uh, and this girl in the audience, uh, in the third row. So. Your selflessness and gratitude humbles me. I am a rich heiress from a distant land. <laughs> I will reward you with $8 million and a real monkey. <laughs> ensures the survival of the entire human race. Roses are red, violets are blue. I now have a monkey. What about you? <laughs> 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 